in lesson five, we're going to learn how to enter data into our first spreadsheet. Now that we know all about the different parts of the Excel interface, let's begin creating our own spreadsheet. We'll begin by entering in some sample text. We're going to create a sales summary sheet for a fictional company. So let's start by typing in a list of our sales reps. Make sure that you're currently sitting in cell A1. That's the very first cell in our sheet. If for some reason you're sitting over here in a different cell, all you have to do is take your mouse, move it over A1 right in the middle of it, and click. That's how you move the selected cell to a different location. So now I'm in cell A1. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around inside of a spreadsheet. So again, if I'm sitting in some other cell, let's say C3, and I want to move up to cell A1, I'll just use the up and left arrow keys. I'll go up, up, left, left. And that's again how you can move around inside your spreadsheet, either with the mouse or with the keyboard. So sitting in cell A1, I want to type in the header for that column. What is this column going to represent? Well, I'm going to put a list of sales reps in here. So I'll type in the words sales, space, and then rep. And notice as I type, sales rep appears in the cell itself, and it also appears up here in the formula bar. You can see it in two places. When I'm done, I'm going to press Enter, the Enter key on my keyboard. That moves me down to cell A2. If you're entering data into columns, and you want to move down to the next row each time you finish an item, press the Enter key. Enter, 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 Enter. It's the same as pressing the down arrow. If you want to enter data into rows and go across, you can use the Tab key. Tab, 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 Tab. That's the same as using the right arrow key. I'll go back over here to cell A2 using my left arrow key. Now let's type in the names of our sales reps. So make sure you're sitting in cell A2, and then I'll type in Chris, enter, Alex, enter, Jan, enter, and Pat, enter. There's my four sales reps. Now I want to move up to the top of the next column to cell B1. I can either use the arrow keys or I can just grab the mouse and click on cell B1. Now I'm ready to enter in the next column of data. Now we're tracking monthly sales for each sales rep. So in the header row, I'm going to type in a list of months. So I'll type in January, I'll abbreviate J-A-N, tab, February, tab, March, tab, and April. We'll just do four months for now. Now let's type in some sales figures. I'll use my arrow keys and move down over here to cell B2. And I'll type in some data. 89, enter. 50, enter. 30, enter. And 12, enter. Now I'm ready to move up to the top of the next column, so I'll use the arrow keys. Or, of course, you can use the mouse. Personally, I'm partial to the keyboard. I like to use the keyboard whenever possible. I hate having to stop and grab the mouse and click on something, unless I absolutely have to. If I can use a keyboard for it, I will. And yes, there are a lot of different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to access many of Excel's features. I'm going to teach you some of the more popular ones today, and we'll learn a lot more as we go into our more advanced classes. Let's type in February's data. 45, enter. 65, enter. 56, enter. And 77, enter. Move to the top of the next column using the arrow keys. Now go ahead and fill in March and April. The exact numbers that you use don't make a difference for this class. Just put in some random numbers. Now notice in Excel that all of the numeric values, the numbers, line up on the right side of the cell. 
but all of the text values, like these headers here with April, line up to the left side of the cell. We'll see how to correct that when we get to cell formatting.